Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a juicy, a juicy one today. Bob Ciccarello, Nick Trigilli. They've been having a little battle of the words, and some of you might think, Oh, Mark's Max Muscle. He, he, he doesn't buy into all that bickering, grade school stuff. He, he, he's not that lowbrow. On the contrary, I find it very entertaining. You know, Nick Trudilli calls Bob Ciccarello a narcissist, or a, a narcissist, or, I, I don't know how to say it. Lex Luger had the gimmick. Whatever whatever it is. And Bob Ciccarello, he, he, he made a video in retaliation. Bob, and then in turn said that uh, he, Nick was a, a member of the Jack of the month club <laughs> but anyway anyway we're serious here at mark's max muscle we're doing a comparison and i know some of you bob chicarello fans are thinking but mark's max muscle this is bob in like 2005 i think and yes you'd be right that's not fair here's him in 2002 Wow, Bob looks awesome here. And you know what? Still not his prime. Here's Bob, I believe, I believe in 2000. I'm sure if Bob could correct me on that one, it would be, it'd be peachy keen. Bob looks outstanding here, guys. For the most part, these pitchers, I mean, you can get a front double of them in his prime, maybe a side chest. But I just showed that difference just to let you guys know. When we are using the other versions, maybe not quite that fair, so keep that in mind. And another thing, guys, Bob Ciccarello, he's just kind of starting, he, he's been on YouTube for a little while, but he's just starting to post frequently, so he has low subscribers at the moment. And Nick Trigilli, Bodybuilding and BS. I mean, that channel's a success, guys. Over 100,000 subscribers. So, as a YouTuber... Might seem like Bob would be an easy target to get, you know, all the Nick Trigilli fans. But I'm not like that. I respect Bob. He's been competing since 81. He finished up in 2006. So, you know, respect to the guy. And he's giving Nick Trigilli more than a run. More than I think Nick can handle in this front double. I mean, quad sweeps are different. Quad sweeps are different, for sure. These guys are similar in their, their stature, their, their height. Bob a little bit wider, I think. Maybe, maybe. Mm, very close, but we can't spend all day on one shot, guys. Go to the uh, the front lat spread. And we have Bob from 2002 here. Not a bad version. And I'm sorry, guys, I talked right through that front double. But hey, when there's juicy stuff to talk about... I think Bob has it in the front lat spread, structurally speaking... I believe him to have a wider clavicle, maybe a little bit wider in the waistline, yes, but ultimately when your clavicle width is that much wider too, yeah, you're probably uh, you're better off in this shot anyway. And yes, to you actual competitive bodybuilders, pitchers, you can only tell so much, of course. Lighting's going to be different, angle of the camera's going to be different, but as fans, heck, we like to do these comparisons anyway, right? Yeah, so. Go to the side. Keeping in mind, guys, Bob, I showed at the start, this 2002 might not have been his best. He is displayed arguably better. He's opened up more. He's showing more of his chest. Like Arnold says, the big guy comes right up. Never hide away. But I will say, Nick Trigilli, not saying too much about him in this comparison. I like Nick as well. I like both of these guys. Respect to both of these guys. Incredible condition of Nick. And ultimately, he'd probably get this one due to muscle separation and uh, and condition. Thick pecs, too. Look at his far pec. Things of that nature. But we do have, gosh darn it, a, I believe, 2000, a bob. And yes, look at that, guys. The wheels, too. The wheels, too. Hard and grainy. Grainy nature. And he's not opened up as much, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? And Nick, he has a big man's chest. Both of these guys have big man's chests. Look at Bob's far pack. Look at his structure of his chest. 
Wonder how much he benches. How much you bench, Bob? I mean, you know, your your salad days. Obviously, you could still bench quite a bit, but I mean, how old's the guy? 57? And still, he looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I have to say. Side. Turn to the side. Nick? Hmm. He looks good here. He looks good. I like his display. He's opened up. Nice lag there. Quad. Bob has the groceries. I like Bob like a, a Paul Delette. I just... I don't know. I, I almost prefer how Nick, he shows how small his waistline is. Bob's good and cut in the midsection. This is Bob in his early years. He looks like Lou Ferrigno. Hmm? Anyone? No? Come on, come on. Bob Ciccarello, one of the few uh, bodybuilders ever to have competed against Ronnie Coleman. I believe he did, didn't he, didn't he not? I'm sure he did a couple of times. 2002 he did, I know, for sure, for sure he did. And he also competed against Arnold in 74, I think it was. <laughs> so give you guys something to talk about in the comment section below. No, he didn't, Mark's Max Muscle. Here's the back shot. Somebody will correct me. Somebody will say, yes, he did. He was, in fact, competing against Arnold in 1974, didn't you, Bob? And like I said... Bob has a resemblance of Lou Ferrigno. But anyway, anyway. Trigilli. Trigilli. Uh, apologize, guys. Not even judging this one. Terrible. Terrible. Good and conditioned. And I would wager to say that in my memory, I, I figured that Trigilli was going to get the back shots due to his maybe razor sharp condition. But you know what? Bob's not that far off. He's not as conditioned as Trigilli. I'll tell you that right now. But his back, I think, is he has a better back. His wheels are much thicker, much more filled out. But the condition, guys, Trigilli, I mean, he jokes around. <laughs> he, you know, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. But this guy, he brought some serious condition. And Bob, here's the rear double. Take a look at Bob's heavy set lats. Uh -uh. Almost a strided badonka donk. But he got a little bit more conditioned. I don't know. Bob could have been a contender. I'm telling you right now. But, yeah, put him next to Trigilli. I'm sorry, guys. Put him next to Trigilli, and he's not as conditioned. Ultimately, Trigilli. Am I saying your name right, Nick? I'm sorry if I'm not, man. Anyway, anyway. Are these guys both Italian? You guys both Italian. You guys should be bosom buddies. You guys should be definitely uh, at least pen pals. I could be wrong. I think they're both Italian. Italiano. You like it? The pasta? I guess some of them get into scraps. And uh, Italians fight a lot because they're, they're similar. You guys are so similar. But having said that, I think I'm going to go with Bob in the rear double. Might be inclined to give that rear lat. To Trigilli, just because he is so gosh darn peeled, so peeled at the 2015 Europa Atlantic City Pro. Most muscular. Look at the size of Bob. And this is him in the 2005 range. So, but I don't think it hurts him that bad. I think if he was in his earlier years, yes, he would have been much more separated, peeled, so to speak. But he was huge. He maintained his size. I think he competed up until 2006. Finished off his career with a win, don't you know? Don't you know? Nick Trigilli, I believe he had an injury, I believe. Cut his uh, career short. Stellar, he had a good career ahead of him, too. Both of these guys, like I said, bosom buddies. Bosom buddies. I, like I like the background of Trigilli. Some sort of Egyptian thing. Do, 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 you too, pint size. But anywhere, anywhere. Yeah, like I said, guys, I joke around a lot too. But I have nothing but the utmost respect for both of these guys. And I like, I like the bickering, I'll admit, I'll admit. But, I mean... When you when you when you put it down on paper, yeah, these guys should be bosom buddies. You guys are among the elite. You guys are great big horse studs. Compare you guys with any of 
me, me or my com- comrades, a lot of my fans, hey, you guys aren't much bigger than me. We're, we're tiny little wee people compared to these big studs. So yeah, you guys are in an elite club. You guys won the Mr. USA competition. Get your pro cards, things of that nature. You're in the history books together. You know, you're running the same race. And all I have to say is keep up the insults. Jackass of the month club. <laughs> I want to ne- hear Nick's. I'll be, I'll be clicking on it, Nick's uh, retaliation video so fast. And then Bob's. Retaliation to that, I'll be clicking on that even faster. Even faster. Anyway, guys. It's funny when nobody's really getting hurt. Nobody's getting hurt. Hit thumbs up. Hey, if Nick, you want to go to the show, Nick? I don't know if you heard Bob's video, but he's willing to pay for your ticket. I don't know if he was saying you weren't making money. I don't know, Bob. Nick, you see the views he's getting on YouTube? I think he's coining it. I think he could probably uh, get backstage passes, everything. But Bob could probably get you, yeah, some VIP tickets for sure. He is the voice of bodybuilding after all. And it may surprise a lot of you guys in hearing that I would probably give an edge to Bob Ciccarello. I think he's just a little bit too big. So big. And he had a heavier set set of lats in that back. I mean, it is what it is, guys. If Nick Trigilli's condition was that much greater, I mean, yeah, he'd win. And I think ultimately his condition was better in the pictures that we've seen. But I did show you guys the comparison between even 2002, which Bob was good. But the the earlier years, he was just peeled. Another uh, little tidbit about Bob when he first started competing. I think Franco Colombo was the Olympia champion. When he retired, Jay Cutler was champion. So I'll give you a little glimpse of uh, his 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 history of, of competing. And also, he competed against 2002, Knight of Champions, Marcus Rull, and 2002, Show of Strength, Günther Schlierkamp. Two of the greatest versions of any bodybuilder of all time. But anyway, Nick has an awesome channel, so anyway, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> Follow both of these guys on YouTube. Let's grow Bob's channel, and let's get Nick's even bigger. Have a great one.